you're from the East Coast. The West Coast has yeah, its own vibe. No, I love I love Seattle though. You know, the first thing I did today was went to this place called Ike's Ike's. Place? You went to Ike's, Uncle Ike's. Ike's. Place? Yes. Yeah, Uncle Ike's. Uncle, Uncle Ike's. Ike's. I get my hair cut across the that street. Was <laughs> that was the first place I went. So, you know, first things first, got to take care of that business. Welcome to Washington. And um, yeah, so, and then other than that, I've just been like a little sad tours over. So I'm kind of just like yeah. very mellow today, kinda just like trying to figure it out, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and so over your tours so far, I like to play this game with my friends called High, Medium, Low. So, what has been a high point of the tour? What's a medium, like medium could be good or bad, and then you know, a low point. You, you can you know, omit one if you want, but uh, high, medium, low of your tour. Okay, I think one of the high points of tour was um, we had a day off in Eugene, Oregon a few days ago, and oh, we yeah. went kayaking down the river. Quintessential and Pacific Northwest experience. It was just super fun though. Like the band was there, we all just like went swimming. It was a good time. That was a high point. Um, but I guess a show should have been a high point, right? <laughs> I don't know. Like all the shows have been so good. I'm just like, whatever. Yeah, um, well I think, you know, the things that happen outside of music too can be just as satisfying yeah, yeah, and exactly. also like it's support all... the next gig. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Let's see. I'll start with like a low point. Let's see. What was the a low point? Um, oh, this is so hard. I'm trying to think. Hopefully like, there aren't too many. No, there <laughs> there seriously hasn't been that many like really low points uh, on this tour. We had like a great crew, great fun. I don't know. It's just been like so, such a good experience. So what is your travel setup like then? Like what makes up the Phoebe Ryan experience on the road? Like well, how many we're of you on are this there? <laughs> how many of you are in bunk beds? You know, you have your sleeping <laughs> schedules figured out. Like, I'm just looking at Oh, up my God. Me. We're in this big-ass bus. Her name is Sapphire. Sapphire. Yeah, there's 12 of us, me and uh, my crew, and then this band, Cardinox. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it was just all 12 of us. And everyone has their own schedule. My schedule is kind of just, like, sleep all day long until <laughs> I'm needed for sound check. Um, I was on vocal rest a lot, mm -hmm. just like trying to save my voice after doing like, you know, a week of shows every you single know, day. I'm just like, I, I wasn't talking. I, I just, can only imagine. I've been yeah. here for two days and you can tell I sound yeah, like it's, Smithers. It's rough. Yeah. It's rough. <laughs> what, what's your uh, recommendation if I need to like get my voice back to, you know, Dude, full seriously, horsepower? seriously, just like silence. Just shut Just up. not talking. That's, a, that's impossible. It sucks. I'm, I'm kind of a producer and then I'm it talking sucks. to people. No, it sucks. You're right. I need to get better at that. <laughs> I do know sign language, so maybe that could help. Man, I know how to spell in sign language, but like it's so slow and it's hard. I wish I knew. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's a lot more visual at times, too, to, you know, kind of go on that tangent for a minute because, like, you know, I've always been, like, a very visual person, so how you yeah. relate that information to other people. I mean, it's almost like when you play, and I guess I'm curious when you perform, you know, do you have go-to moves or experiences oh, or things? absolutely. And, and, what, and what are some of those? It's not even something that I feel like I have control over, but my friends always say, like, oh, if I was made into a doll, like a Barbie doll, my hands would just be like this. That's like my go-to, like when I'm singing, I'm just like, hey, right. hey. It's like the three fingers, I don't know what it is. Yeah. Just like the, <laughs> can't explain it. And I do this little like shuffle, this like side shuffle thing that I'm very proud of. And is that, is that to sort of transmit into the crowd? Like do you have a, you know, sort of an intention with your performance on how you engage the crowd and you know, ways that you do that? I don't, I just talk to them, man. Like, yeah. straight up, I just, like, point people out. And I'm like, yo, how are you doing right now? Yeah, you are don't we want to be in this? Yeah. 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 It's fun. So, in terms of, you know, your performance being informed by, obviously, the music that you create, um, I'm curious a little bit about what your process is like in translating your recorded tracks to a live show. Um, is there, you know, a lot of programming involved in that? Like, how dialed in or scripted is it? Because, like, you know, I'm a fan of storytelling. I feel like there can be an arc. I'm curious yeah. how you translate recorded tracks to a live setting. There's definitely a lot. The whole production involved. I have a really incredible music director. His name is Vinny Farah, and he just, like, takes everything that's beautiful about the productions that we have created, and he just, like, puts them on the stage. And it just, I don't, it's, like, a lot of, yeah, a lot of, tracks and sounds and programming and like all this cra it's just like so crazy but i think it really he makes it come across like so special live mm -hmm. you know it's not like the recording but it is yeah. like the recording in a right. way but it's totally like a unique experience nice yeah. and so what do you like to sort of take away from you know playing in a, a festival environment is it meeting other bands or meeting fans like talk about your experience when you're not on stage you know playing at a larger event like this 
I think just like the the amount of people here that don't know who I am at all. I right. think that's so great. I think that that's so awesome that I that it's there's fresh. so much potential to like just walk out there and be like, hey, what's up? I'm Phoebe. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure the green hair gets you in with anybody. Like, you know what? You got something yeah. going on. Yeah. yeah. All right. So now I want to have some, some fun questions. I want to play a little bit of a lightning round with you. Okay? Oh, my gosh. I'm so bad at a these. A little bit I'm of ready, verses. Though. All right. Just go Let's with your gut. This. Just go with your gut. Okay, no judgments. Okay. Hashtag no judgments. All right. Roller blades versus roller skates. Blades. Jorts versus fashion sweats. Jorts. <laughs> nice. Uh, Les Paul versus Stratocaster. Strat. Vans versus Converse. Ooh, uh, Converse? Oh, that's actually my first pair of Vans. I was trying to be <laughs> not so subtle about that. Uh, Yoga Lotties versus Zumba. <laughs> Neither. Rock and roll. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Sega versus Nintendo. Nintendo! Twin Peaks versus the X-Files. I, um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, so you gotta, One's about aliens, right? Yeah, one's the aliens. ones that's about aliens is cooler. And both are from the Northwest, so I sort of set you up for that a little bit. Now you can dig back. Twin Peaks is coming back with a new season. You can check it out. I don't know anything out. about anything, man. Man, David Lynch, the I music. don't know anything about um, <laughs> TV. All right, well, we'll skip it. How about this? Uh, Spanx versus Granny Panties. Spanx, baby. Uh, having a dragon versus being a dragon. Being a dragon, 100% always. <laughs> Excellent. Well, <laughs> Phoebe, I have to thank you so much for taking some time thank to talk you. with us today. Thank uh, amazing you. performance <laughs> at the Capitol Hill Block Party. Thanks for joining us on the live stream. Everybody, come make friends Peace. with Phoebe at the Capitol Hill Block Party. A lovely human here with even better music. And we'll have plenty more content, interviews, concerts coming up later today at the Capitol Hill Block Party. This is Sam Kelly from IMI signing off for now. Peace. TTFN.